Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here with Bruce's Q&A number five. And today we're going to be looking at using software to help you figure out what frequencies you might want to adjust and looking at the overall tone of your guitar. This question came in, it was a follow-up question from Vasi Guitar who asked the question about the parametric EQ and in, in a little conversation we had about parametric EQs, he was talking about his Strat sound sounding a bit too trebly. My first incl inclination was to use the treble guitar uh, control on the guitar. This is a really underused uh, control. I, I did another video about it a while back saying that this is a hidden secret of lots of guitars. Your tone control. Most people I'm aware of tend to whack it on full and don't really go much further than that. It is such a powerful tool and it's got so many features and it can affect your tone immensely. But his main question was how does he how do you know which t frequencies to target um, if you're not really familiar with dealing with frequencies and familiar with tones and where they sit on a spectrum. Uh, a case of maybe critical listening and tuning your ears into to different frequencies. So one of the best ways of doing this is using tools at our disposal. Now many of us may have access to a to door software such as Logic, Cubase, Adobe Audition, Ableton Live, Pro Tools. But you don't need to have access to these the, the, these um, tools, these pay for tools, because there's some free tools out there as well, such as Audacity, which have built in plugins and Reaper. Reaper isn't free, sorry, but uh, you can download it and try it out for 30 days or 60 days. I can't remember which uh, and, and get an inclination. All you really need is a plugin which enables you to see a spectrum. So a spectrum analyzer plugin and most of these come with them. So now I'm just going to switch over to Reaper and we're going to have a look at what you can do to figure out what it is, you, what frequencies you need to be thinking about when you're trying to adjust your guitar and getting an idea of which frequencies to adjust. Um, what I'm going to do here is basically I, I, in Reaper I've got my guitar plugged straight in to Reaper. No effects, no amp modeling, just a guitar straight in so you can hear the raw sound of the guitar and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, that's not the point. What I'm trying to do here is to show you which frequencies are affected and how you can find a way of targeting um, frequencies and learning a little, bit, a little bit more about the guitar and acoustics at the same time. So what we have here, we've got two different ways of doing this and it might depend on the app you're using. We have a frequency spectrum analyzer, but in the re-EQ re that comes with um, Reaper, I'll just turn it. Sorry, there's a bit of noise coming through from my guitar there. You get uh, a spectrum analyzer in the EQ as well. So you can say the same thing. This is just background noise. This is imperceptibly quiet noise. So don't worry too much about that at all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you the different frequencies. I'm going to play an A note. So what's happening there is I'm just getting some really low frequency background noise from my guitar. And this is just some handling noise as I'm moving. Anyway, I'm going to play an A note. So that is the A on the 6th string, 5th fret. And as you can see here, it has one very dominant frequency, which is around 110 hertz. And all these additional harmonics occur, makes up the sound. This isn't a pure tone. A pure tone would be something like a sine wave, which only has one frequency component. Any other sound is made up of a series of overtones and harmonics. So that is my A. I'm going to go up an octave. As you can see, it's moved up an octave, 220 hertz. Move up another octave. Going up to 440, which is concert A. And you can see you have these really distinct harmonics sticking out. And then I'll go up to the final one I've got. So, what does that all mean? Well, it means that when you're playing your guitar, you can look at maybe playing a chord. You can figure out, well actually, if I turn the tone knob down, what effect does that have on the guitar? Turn the tone knob all the way up. With the tone knob down, you can see all these high 
um, frequencies around um, three, four, five k have disappeared. I've lost that. That's that's the effect it's had on my toes. You can actually visualize it. There. So let's change pickup. I'm now going to go to the next pickup. You can see a lot more energy in the low frequency range. I'm now going to switch and play the same chord, but uh, with the bridge pickup on. Ooh. So this is very simply a great way to just get an idea. Of course, always trust your ears. That's the most important. Don't use your eyes all the time. This is just a quick tool you can use to look at to maybe get an understand of, of notes, where you're playing on the guitar, what kind of area you're playing, rhythm and everything. I will now use the EQ and EQ out some of that. You can then see the effect, the lower line of what's happening with your guitar tone. We've killed a lot of those mid frequencies. There you have it in a nutshell, a tool that I just recommend you play around with and see how you get on with. So I hope you found that really useful. If you've got any more questions about frequency, about acoustics, about audio, please do drop me a line. I'm happy to do one in another Q&A session. But all that's left for me to say now is catch you later. Yeah.